for exclusive content that's not on my social media, go to my website. I'm just here to lie to you for YouTubeClicks.com, period. My name is Lame Hellagay. I'm an author and a professional plebiscite babbling troll. My dream is to become a legitimate documentary filmmaker, but I can't seem to garner the respect that people like Tariq Nasheed has and put out reputable material. So basically, I steal a bunch of material from Hidden Colors, I remix it with other nonsense in order to sell my poorly written books that's full of plebiscite babble. Period. Some say I do this because I'm an ugly, light-skinned, troglodyte-looking dude with an inferiority complex. But I say no, that's not true. They say I'm reduced to making asinine clickbait titles in order to trick people into watching my YouTube videos while I babble for two hours while racking up YouTube revenue, never explaining anything or getting to the point. I disagree with that too, period. Also, I like to play overly dramatic background music to make my pointless babbling seem more deep. Or, period. Some people even say I read random, out-of-context documents and claim that they're credible sources and proof, and that's just not true at all. I can back everything up with claims and facts, period. I can prove this in the new book that I've written called Frederick Douglass Was an Extraterrestrial, period. I'm going to now explain some facts about my new book. Now, in order to understand this, we must first turn to the book called Mary Had a Little Lamb. Now, Mary Had a Little Lamb, according to documents, was Frederick Douglass's favorite nursery rhyme, period. Now, Mary Had a Little Lamb goes as follows. Mary had a little lamb, the fleece was white as snow. Now, when you look up Black Law Dictionary under the word snow, the definition is very interesting, period. According to Black Law's Dictionary, the definition of snow is a mass flickering of white spots on a television or radar screen caused by an interference of a poor signal. Now, let's look at that. During the period of Frederick Douglass's lifetime, there was no television. Or was there? Frederick Douglass liked that nursery rhyme because it was really a secret message from his home planet who did have televisions at that time. This is unequivocal proof of an extraterrestrial background for Frederick Douglass. Now how are you going to refute those facts? How? How? Period. And more proof about Frederick Douglass, he talked about slave ships. Now. During that time, as a slave, he was illiterate. So how did Frederick Douglass know how to read? He was taught how to read from Martians, period. How you gonna refute that? How? How? Also, at the time, the letter L and the letter V were only used by high-ranking Masonic Jesuits. So when Frederick Douglass talked about being on slave ships, he meant something else. The letter L and V were not in use. I did research oh, and I found out that those letters replace a P and a C. So what Frederick Douglass was really saying is that he was on a spaceship, not a slave ship, period. How are you going to refute these facts? That's unequivocal proof that Frederick Douglass was an extraterrestrial. Period. And speaking of high-ranking Masons, I also talk about their influence and control of the music industry and how they manipulate R&B singers with witchcraft. All of that is in my new book entitled, Anita Baker is a Werewolf. 
Now, how you gonna refute these facts? How? How? You can't refute these facts. Period. Anyway, tune in tomorrow where my next video will be about the truth behind the civil rights movement. I explain how the Montgomery bus boycott was not even about discrimination or black people in the back of the bus. That was a lie put out by the Illuminati to cover up the fact that the buses in Montgomery had time portals in the back so that people could transport to other dimensions, period. This video will be entitled, Rosa Parks was from Wakanda. Anyway, like and subscribe, period.